Hey guys, my name is Zach. Welcome to my review of the Dragon Ball Super Broly World Collectible Figure Volume 3 Saiyan Goku, Broly, and Vegeta. These are really cool figures. I really like them. They're painted and sculpted really well. You can see they all have their Saiyan armor on with slight variations. Goku is not wearing gloves, and he also has dark trunks. Broly is wearing gloves with uh, lighter blue trunks, and Vegeta is wearing the uh, long sleeve undersuit and long sleeve pants with gloves. Really, really cool designs. I enjoy the expressions that each of them have. My only complaint with these uh, right off the bat is the painting is a little sloppy on the armor, uh, though I don't think it's impossible to touch up. Looking at Goku here, his expression is uh, very... Um, sort of naive, maybe scared. Uh, I really like the expression that they chose for him, and I really enjoy that each of their expressions matches the characters from that film. Broly here is looking very stoic, um, you know, typical Broly, uh, badass-looking face. Uh, and he's also a little bit larger than the other two, which, uh, you know, obviously fits in very well with the theme of the movie. Uh, the tails are all sculpted differently, and I think they look really well. Um, and I just enjoy that each of them have the subtle variations in their armor, Looking at Vegeta here, you can see the cocky as ever Prince of the Saiyans uh, with the smirk and uh, rocking his armor with, uh, it just looks badass. Uh, here's some figure size comparisons. You can see I have the Adverge Son Gohan next to Goku, and I think that the um, Adverge is a little out of scale, a tiny bit too small, and I think that, uh, you know, when you compare uh, Gohan next to Saiyan Risen with Goku, you can see that the... Um, WCF Goku is actually scaled pretty well. Uh, Broly looking pretty good there compared to Goku. And I think all three of these scale really well with the Disney Toy Box Stitch. And uh, based on what I remember from the uh, Lilo and Stitch movie, I think that the height of all of them is pretty close to what Lilo was in that movie. Uh, so no problems with scaling there with some uh, other common uh, six-inch scale figures. Uh, looking at all three of these, though, these are really nice figures. I paid, I think, $12 a piece for them from Bait in the United States. Uh, I have no idea what that company is, but I searched for several days, and uh, they had them in stock, and I was able to buy them. Uh, individually rather than the case. They came really fast. They were packed really well. My only complaint was that they had a lot of logistics uh, stickers on the boxes from their warehouse that uh, pretty much made the boxes unsalvageable. These are really nice figures. If you can get them for less than 15 bucks a pop, I highly recommend it. Uh, as far as a rating goes, these get a... 8 out of 10 for me. They're definitely really nice. Not certified crispy, but if you're a collector of, um, you know, sort of other variations of popular characters. Uh, these were some that were seen in just a few moments of the Broly movie, but I really enjoy them. I'm picking up the infant Vegeta and infant Broly from the WCF line as well to go with my infant Goku, and those will display really nicely alongside these characters. So thank you guys for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about these figures in the comment section below.